my previous video of my 2006 Acura RL, I introduced you all to the car and told you why I thought it never made it an Acura's lineup and why I've always wanted one. But in today's video, I want to go over it more in depth and talk about some interesting features and quirks that this car has because there are quite a few. Now, like I said, this car is not very well known. There's not a lot of videos of it out on the internet. So that's why I want to take you all on a tour of it and go over some of the interesting features that I found while owning it so far. So just to start with the exterior, I previously mentioned in the last video that this car does have adaptive cruise control as well as pre-collision braking. And I just thought it was quite funny and it's an interesting feature for this car to have being that it's a 2006 and the way that they just disguised that radar behind the grill in such a funny way. But you'll see other luxury cars from this time period with the same setup. It just is humorous to me how they have it set up like that, how it looks like it's just, you know, like a paste of an image over where the radar is, how it's just kind of silly. Another thing moving back this way, this I mentioned in the last video too, that this car does have four piston calipers in the front. Now I thought find this pretty unique because as Acura's flagship vehicle, it's expected, you know, to have luxury features. And I guess you could say stopping is a feature, a good feature to have, but I just find it humorous because at the time the NSX was also out when this car was also out and that car didn't even have big brakes like that. This was the only vehicle in Acura's lineup to feature brakes like that. Another thing moving along with the exterior, as you'll see here, the wipers actually are kind of flush and they sit under this black trim piece here above the hood. Now, if you'll notice, you can kind of see the driver's blade, but the passenger blade is pretty well hidden. And this is actually a feature that was taken from the legend of that and moved into the RL. Now, like I said, you'll see they're kind of hidden here and kind of flush right now, but you can actually throw them into winter mode. Now, the legend, like I said, had this feature too, but in the, I believe the Vigor might have had it too, but in the interior, you just flip the switch and it put them into winter mode. Now, in the RL, you have to come out here and manually do it. So if you look here, you have your defroster at the base of the windshield and your wipers are sitting underneath that, which is in their summer mode. Now to put them in their winter mode, all you do is click them up like that. And if you look, now your driver's blade sits right on top of the defroster. So in the winter time, in theory, it keeps the wiper warm. So if you're driving through wintry conditions, it will keep this blade warm. Maybe this one as well, even though it's kind of offset but your driver blade sits right on top of the defroster keeping it warm through the winter. And then to put it back into summer mode, you just push them and they click back down. Another interesting feature on this car. Moving down the side of the car, this is a feature not only just on this car, but it's on a lot of other Acuras and I believe they're still doing this to this day. But let's say you approach your car, it's a hot summer day and you don't want to get in the car because it's uh, like an oven inside. So all you do is take your remote, push unlock once, push it again and on the second time hold it and now you've opened all your windows in theory letting all the heat out so before you approach your car it can be nice and aired out now let's say you did this while it's parked in your driveway and now you want to go back inside you're doing stuff outside you wanted it to stay cool in there now how do you go about closing your windows you would then have to come over to your driver's side door take your key lock the car hold it again in the lock position now all your windows will go up, including your sunroof. And I think this is a very neat feature to have, especially in the summertime when it's nice and hot out. Good way to air out your car. Another unique feature to the RL is that when you approach the vehicle at night, and let's say you hit unlock on the key fob instead of coming and using your keyless access handle like I just did there. If you'll notice, if you look in the door handle on the front doors, there is actually a little LED light that illuminates so when you're approaching your vehicle in the dark you can see where your handle is and I thought this was pretty unique because you don't see this on any other Acura model but you have to approach the car and push unlock if you just come up and grab it with the handle it won't do it you have to push unlock and then it illuminates at night so you can find the handle another thing I thought was pretty interesting and unique to this car before we step on into the interior features another thing that I found to be extremely useful on this car and unique to this car is that the rear doors open almost to a 90 degree angle allowing very easy entry and exit to the car. I mean, look at that. Not a lot of sedans open like that. And it makes it getting in and out all that more easier. And now that we are in the back seat of the RL, I could talk about some of the things that I found to be interesting for the back seat. So first of all, the seat room back here, just to briefly talk about this, isn't bad. I have the seat set to where I would typically drive now. I keep the backrest tilted a little bit back, and I still have a decent amount of legroom. 
it is pretty comfortable back here. The seats are nice and soft. Uh, you do get an armrest with cup holders here. So some interesting features back here. You do have a power rear sunshade and I would show that, but mine unfortunately is not working right now. I have to figure that out. Another thing I mentioned in my previous video, you also do get sun shades here, which I will keep up now because the sun is right in my face. And another thing I found to be pretty interesting um, in the front, we're gonna talk about this when we get up there, but there are actually ashtrays on both rear doors in the back. So technically, or technically you could sit back here and uh, smoke if you wanted. I guess that was a thing that Acura just threw in to compete with their luxury rivals because you, that's something you see in the back seat of like a Mercedes or BMW uh, of similar class, like a full-size luxury, luxury sedan. And uh, this is actually a front seat item, but if you'll look, the headrests are almost pillow-like. You do have adjustable headrests, which are very soft, by the way, and nice and supple. But that's all we have for the back seat, so moving on. So moving up into the front seat of the RL, as like I mentioned in the previous video, you'll find every feature you could ever want in this car. But there are some interesting ones that I think are pretty cool for the time being that this car is a 2006. And before I forget, I'm going to mention it now. And not a lot of people know about this, but this car actually does have OnStar. It would have came with OnStar back when it was new. Um, obviously, the subscription is not active right now, and I don't even know if you could still even activate it on a car that, that is this old now. But it is there. You did have OnStar, hands-free calling, all the services that OnStar did offer back in 2006. And it is here. The buttons are here for it. It's kind of an interesting feature to see. You would think it only came on a General Motors vehicle, but this Acura RL from 2006 does have OnStar equipped. Another thing that is pretty interesting, I mentioned in the video I previously made too, you do have a smart key system. So to start it, you have this knob looking thing, but to then start it, the uh, auto start is kind of regulated, I guess you could say, or the starting is regulated. All you do is turn it to on, flick it, it starts for you. You don't have to hold your hand there cranking it over. Once you flick it, it starts right up for you. So for 2006, this car does come with a lot of interesting features, electronics and quirks. A lot to go over, but that is going to conclude this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this as this covered some of the many interesting quirks and features on this car. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.